Just so you know, this will probably be done in one take, very little editing, because don't you know I've got a book to write. NaNoWriMo is here! How is it November already? Um, NaNoWriMo started on Sunday, I'm still saying NaNoWriMo, I know it's NaNoWriMo, say whatever you like. Um, started on Sunday, I had a, quite a strong start with 4,000 words, uh, and I've been doing 2,000 words the last couple of nights, each night. Hoping to keep that up, because that's a good kind of... I want to stay a bit ahead, because that, I know there's going to be nights where I'm not going to be able to write at all. Um, either through social commitments or just absolute exhaustion. So I'm trying to get a continuing buffer going so when I do miss a night, it doesn't make a difference. So I'm currently at 8,000 words by the end of today. We'll hopefully be at 10,000 words. Um, but I can't believe we're only four days in. This is exhausting. Basically, the last two days have been go to work, work till five, go to the gym, gym till half six, then shower and eat takes me to half seven, then uh, four hours of alternating reading and writing, and then bed. And like, I know reading is supposed to be my relaxed time, but because I'm still trying to fit it in, it's just so stressful. And today I was yawning all day at work, and even though I had the same amount of sleep as usual, I just think I'm physically and mentally exhausted already, and I'm only four days in, which is ridiculous. But um, it's going really well, though, apart from that, I'm really enjoying it. I'm writing in a completely different style than I ever had before, um, a different person, like, you know, I'm writing from a different perspective, writing in a different tense, I'm writing present tense, which I've never done before, which is extremely difficult to get in the habit of. Um, I am writing uh, in a different time period, I'm actually writing in the future, which I've never done before, and I'm writing from the perspective of a girl, which I've never done before. So it's all just like, so difficult and such a challenge, but really enjoyable. I am having an absolute blast with it, um, even though it is exhausting. Um, and I'm really enjoying exploring the story. I'm really enjoying writing without a plan, um, because I'm discovering characters and su even subplots I'm discovering as I go, which is so exciting. Um, it's almost like reading it when you notice something, but then you immediately know the resolution to it, kind of. Um, but it's really exciting like that, so I'm really enjoying it. And the stuff I'm going to write tonight should be really interesting as well, because I've kind of just been setting up the world so far, and tonight's where I kind of try and tear it down a bit, so that's going to be fun. Um, so yeah, it's going really well. Uh, I hope everyone else is doing well. Comment below with how your writing's going. Let's move on. Uh, Lisa asked what I, Halloween candy do I want. I We don't have like Halloween candy here. We, I mean, a lot of people don't go trick-or-treating. I have never been before myself, and I thought it was just a British thing, but apparently some of my friends have. And I think I've lost out on my childhood, which I kind of feel like I have now, but you know, I've dressed up for Halloween, but I've just never been trick-or-treating. Saying that, if we're going to go for favourite candy, I would say um, Dairy Milk Whisper, which is this like chocolate bar that's sort of aerated, it's got air bubbles in it. Um, or their new version, Whisper Gold, which has caramel in it as well. And it's just like heaven in the chocolate bar. Last week I spoke about two books that Waterstones gave me that I wanted to give away. Um, mo the biggest response was to give it to charity, which I was going to do. But I am now going to actually read them without reading the others uh, and review them for the site because I had some exciting news yesterday. Waterstones asked me to become a Waterstones expert, which means they're going to send me free books and I just have to review them for the site and then they'll send me more and then I'll review them and they send me more. Um, so I kind of felt bad like getting rid of two others that they'd sent me before, like in the past, so I thought I'd better read them and review them. So yeah, I'm gonna. they're sending me six books at the moment and they said... It's, I think regularly it's going to be five books, but they said, so when you finish them and reviewed them all, we'll send you a, the next five, and when I've read and reviewed them, they'll send me a next five, and my reviews are going to be on the site, and anyone can have their reviews on the site, but mine's going to have a little ba badge next to it saying expert, so I'm like, really excited. They're not paying me for it, but they're giving me free books, so you cannot complain, I'm so excited. Um, continuing with book theme, this has been a very booky vlog. Um, oh, this is wet now. This is what I get for being in the bathroom. Book of the week. Um, the Kite Runner by, I cannot pronounce his name, Khaled Husseini, I think, maybe. Um, fantastic book, um, really moving, really personal story, and really eye-opening about the realism, um, the realism? Reality of, see, this is why I'm a writer. Um, the re <laughs> reality of Afghanistan, and took some very surprising turns. Fantastic. If you have not read his other book as well, um, a Thousand Splendid Sons, I entirely recommend that, which is also, I think I preferred that one, but this is just absolutely fantastic. This has almost got to five minutes, I think, and I don't want to run over, so I'm going to say I love you all, I miss you all, I will see you all soon. Good luck with NaNoWriMo. Goodbye.